In this tutorial, we'd like to show you how to synchronize your files between various locations. You may be on a network at a church or other organization and want to synchronize the files to a common place. You may have people who do work at home on a desktop or laptop and they want to bring their device in and synchronize files to a location where everybody can have the benefits of everybody else's hard work. Let's show you how to do that. We're not going to synchronize with the cloud function because that requires a subscription, but let me show you how to do it locally. To synchronize, you go to the ProPresenter 6 menu and choose Preferences. Now in Preferences, you have uh, a number of tabs. We're going to focus on the orange tab in the middle, which is the Synchronize tab. The source is where all the master files go. That's the repository. Now you can name this location anything you want. To remember that it is the repository referred to down here, I tend to call it something like shared repository. You can call it February or shared files or ProPresenter archive, whatever you like to do. It doesn't matter. So once you click your source and you can change it, uh, with the plus key. You have to decide this is where they're going or coming from and this is what we're including. The most common are our library files which we see over here and the media files and you can choose playlists, props, messages, masks, templates, anything you want. What I'm going to do is start out as though we had never done this before. The first step normally is to go from your local machine up to the repository. So I will go sync files up to repository. I will go ahead and click my sync button and it goes through the process. It finds uh, these uh, six files and it says they will be replaced on the server that's in this location. I'll tell it to proceed and it's pretty quick if you don't have hundreds of files. Now uh, the other thing I want to do is sync files down from the repository. That means if there's other files that I didn't create that are on the repository that will bring them back to the local machine. So let me click on that. I will click on sync here and it was that fast. I had 97 items and now you notice I had I now have 100 items. Uh, let me do that again to show you what happens. I am going to right click on and delete this song and I'll say yes and delete this song and we'll delete it. Yes. So now I'm back to 98 items. Let me try a bi-directional sync. What this will do is it will take everything on my local machine that's not found in the repository and move it up there. Then it will take everything in the repository and add all of those files of these whatever I have checked here back on my local machine. Okay right now I have 98 items in my library. Let's sync it and see what we get. I'm back to 100. In fact the two files I just deleted have been returned to my local machine from the last sync I did in the repository. It's a very useful tool and you'll find it helpful, especially if you have a team of people who work with you in ProPresenter 6. We hope you found this lesson in file synchronization to be helpful to you as you learn more about how to make ProPresenter work in your environment. If it's been useful, we ask you to like us and subscribe to our channel here at the Sharper Turtle. Thank you.